When you were doing live classes, the the schedule was always worked around a teacher's timetable. This is when they're free, they'll come and teach this last class. And knowing people now more closely when I work with them, you can't have a hundred percent buy-in from everybody at every moment in time. So there was enough kids, good ones, who would not be able to be present in that time mentally. So a good way to supplement that would have been always to provide supplementary digital content so if you ever miss something out you have a backup and that's where i think the future of education is it is a mix of life because you need that home and human connection when somebody is speaking to you directly but you need to supplement it with digital content because that's how people are consuming content right now i mean you have theater and we have movies and we have youtube all forms of entertainment and people like all forms the one that you see the least is theater because it's live in teaching, theater is all we have is live lectures. I'd like to see lectures become obsolete and become digital only. And the live performance in a classroom, if the teacher engages the child and the learner, what their problems are and finding them and giving them what we call individualized learning plans, modifying their assessments to push them more. You know, right now what happens is we all teach to an average grade. What digital platform will have to do is those who are smart can accelerate their learning and then be pushed more by the same teachers by giving deeper and deeper assessments, more tricky assessments. And those who are struggling can get their, their foundations can be worked on more because not everybody's in a hurry to finish the class in one hour. Everybody can have different time scales. And that's what digital should do. Everybody learns at their own pace, just like we watch TV shows at different paces. Somebody will binge watch a show in one weekend. Others will take one episode a week to really, you know, enjoy that you know, feeling. But I think that's the kind of, and it's, it's not exactly fixed about how the education industry will grow, but it's going to be based on a lot of digital content. It has to be, because that's the only way forward for us. And we've seen it serve students better. Students who have their content at the tips of their finger when they can play anytime they want, now, the only thing left is how to motivate these kids. In physical classrooms also, the motivation levels have, done, have gone down drastically post-COVID. More kids are not paying attention, period. So that's a problem we have to address both for the physical and the digital space. Outside of that, kids who are driven will always study and they find our video content. You've seen some of the testimonials, man. They are brilliant. These kids are finding use for us. And we just have to do better and find more of these kids that we can serve them better. <laughs>